what's up folks i screwed up the music so we are live um hey folks it's sunday uh, march 31st end of march we are on week 13 of the blade forms 20th anniversary uh giveaways hopefully y'all can hear my voice um let's see what's going on spark blade forms no volume no video uh what is up da 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 okay uh well hopefully uh, y'all can hear can y'all see me can y'all hear me let me know in the chat we can we've got the uh chat or we've got the chat going on right there on the stream so hopefully uh it's good to go all right yeah there we go so six hog saline uh winner of last week's live stream uh giveaway prize pack is saying he's hearing rick is saying he's hearing austin towers is here rick says he has video so well, awesome apparently i haven't screwed this up too badly today so what's up guys how's life going is, is life uh, treating y'all okay y'all having a good weekend so far I gotta tell you um yeah we are having adventures here um you know some of you may remember that i uh had some uh pictures that i was showing y'all last week of a new addition to the blade forms family here's that little guy again uh he is getting bigger oh god the camera's not focusing on it but uh yeah you get the point the little lab puppy is awesome and uh yeah we're just uh, going on our merry way here all right are you uh getting any of this freaking snow spark no today today was uh about 50 degrees here in louisville and we did not have any snow uh it got to about 41 degrees last night Yeah, you know, we had a little bit of a cold spot but no we did uh we did not get any snow uh from the last uh, uh gasp of winter so i'm thankful for that so yeah, uh, yeah, new Labrador puppy. Uh, the little guy is just amazing. He is—he's uh, like beige carpet, though. He, the little, you know, little soft uh, bundle of fur, who is just unreasonably cute, and is making my wife and my uh, son very happy. So we're very glad to have a new puppy here. So um, let's see what we got this weekend this we are on week 13 of the giveaways and uh make sure that you go and enter the uh, uh week 14 uh giveaway uh prize uh sweepstakes because week 14 is for a spider co paramilitary uh two with black blade with the bladeforms.com um let's see if i can get some light here on this with the bladeforms.com logo on the blade uh you may be able to see it you may not be able to see it but yeah um this will be week 14's uh giveaway this week week 13 we are giving away a cold steel trench hawk in od green pretty cool big badass trench hawk use this to go ballistic on somebody or something or watermelons or whatever um if you have a sudden outbreak of uh, needing to chop up cantaloupes or what have you then the cold steel um trench hawk is definitely a great choice for that uh we also have as usual a live stream uh prize pack this week we will be giving away the we'll be giving away the little whirlwind gas station hobo knife um, along with the main prize pack entry of a old school, this is like 2000 era, um, CRKT Navajo 6001, uh, back when they were doing, um, look at that tiny little frame lock there. This was, uh, old school B-Blast, just, yeah, Italian made, uh, CRKT before they did, uh, Taiwan for everything. So yeah, uh, cool little old school, uh, giveaway package. Um, along with 550 cord stickers, various other stuff, uh, various other swag. So yeah, uh, we've got a, uh, a decent week for y'all. Uh, Iron Kid 833 or 883 is here. Um, condolences to you, man, uh, for your loss in the family. For uh, those of you who don't know, Iron Kid and uh, Big Bad Goth are from Ireland and they recently had a loss in their family uh so yeah uh send smoke those of you watching 
do me a solid. Put smoke in the uh, chat window so that uh, they know you're thinking about them. And uh, we're sorry for your loss, folks. It's always terrible to lose a family member. And, uh, you know, we appreciate you guys being part of the uh, live stream crew and part of the uh, uh, forums themselves. So, you know, you have our sympathies in this trying time. So, yeah, uh, smoke's out uh, for you guys. Let me put that in chat. Smoke out. Smoke scent for Iron Kid. And big bad goth. Condolences. All right. So, what's going on this week? Uh, let's talk about uh, this week's wrap up um, in news. If I remember correctly, um, Knife Rights. Here, let's see if we can get this up on the screen here. Um, Knife Rights, I believe, had a uh, significant victory this week um, over... Yeah, uh, Knife Rights took a, uh, got a, uh, a hit on New York City's uh, Gravity Knife ban. Um, so while it's not a complete ruling um, in favor for uh, knife owners in New York... Uh, they, the judge in the question, Judge Paul A. Crotty, found the state's gravity knife law to be unconstitutionally void for vagueness as applied to plaintiff's circumstances. Um, so basically, you know, they're, they, you know, New York has been, for, for decades, they have been hammering people on their gravity knife law where... Um, a knife that it's could be flicked open with a, a wrist flick was considered a gravity knife, and as such, it was treated like a switchblade, and they would uh, arrest the person for carrying the knife. Um, and of course, with stop and frisk being in effect, this law was disproportionately applied to uh, minorities in New York, and uh, you know, put a lot of people in jail and cost a lot of people their jobs for no good reason. It was just basically the state hassling people. And uh, Doug Ritter and Sue, uh, his wife, have been battling uh, these laws in New York for a while now. And if you have money to donate, donate to Knife Rights. Knife Rights uh, really is out there doing what they can for our industry and, you know, fighting battles that uh, other organizations aren't taking on. So, you know, if you can give money to Doug Ritter at Knife Rights, do so. You know, if you're, you know, if you don't feel like giving money to other pro-gun or pro-gun organizations, or if you have some extra cash at the end of the year or tax time refunds or whatever, yeah, hit them up. I'm not sure if uh, Amazon Smile has a thing for, um... Uh, knife rights on their thing but every time you make an amazon purchase uh you can do uh donations to charities so uh maybe somebody can search out and see if uh, knife rights is one of the available charities to support um for amazon small but otherwise yeah i mean for, for the price of a couple of coffees from starbucks or one decent movie uh ticket or whatever, you know, you can help fight the battle uh, to make sure that our uh, hobby and, our, and the industry uh, is, is not winding up with people in jail in places like New York. So, yeah. Um, oh, okay. So, Iron Kid, her funeral was today. Respect to you all. Well, yeah, man, I am really sorry that, uh, that you lost um, your family member there. And yeah, I lost my mom back in 03. That was like the, the worst experience in my life. I mean, my mom was my uh, best friend. So I, 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 it was a terrible, terrible thing in my life. And I hate to see, uh, see people, um, affected by that. Cause I know how you're feeling. Oh, so Austin towers. Yeah. Austin brings up something very, uh, cool in the firearms world. California mag ban unconst found unconstitutional by a federal judge. Yeah. Folks, if you haven't seen this mag ban, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to, um, California magazine law overturned. So yeah, the, there was a, um, the NRA, and I just posted a link in chat here. The NRA uh, basically took California's uh, mag or high cap magazine ban to court, and the judge for the case basically put 
California on blast and just shredded them completely when it came to their magazine ban. Uh, there was a lot of pure gold and massive shade uh, thrown at these people. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, I just noticed uh, T Raj. Did you just say extra money to a bunch of uh, knife junkies? Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, we uh, we all have got, uh, you know, if you've got discretionary income, yeah, contribute to knife rights. But yeah, uh, back to California. The, the judge in question threw some massive, massive shade at the district attorney of California and, and basically put out all these common sense arguments that us in the pro-gun world have been making for years. Like, oh, okay, you know, a 10-round magazine uh, ban, you know, sounds good in theory, but in practice, you know, when you've got a bump in the night and you got to reach for your cell phone, or, you know, you've got to reach for your gun because somebody's in your house, you know, and you've got a choice. Can you reach for a magazine or a flashlight or uh, a cell phone to call uh, for the cops? You know, having only having 10 rounds when you're faced with multiple cute, uh, multiple um attackers is is a not a good burden for uh, uh to meet and basically boom throughout the entire california uh high cap magazine law so yeah make if you're in california make hay while the sun is shining uh companies like psa companies various other companies are sending or shipping mags like real quick over to california um, get them while you can, folks, because they're probably going to come back and uh, uh, try to pass this crap again. On top of that, um, New York also, I believe, had a uh, gun control uh, law thrown out. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. I should have done uh, better research. But yeah, um, basically, you know, that's the, the judge in California is hammered 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 um hammered the decision by the uh um or hammered the uh the california uh district attorney on that and i'm gonna see about if i can get the uh um get the decision pulled up here but yeah i seem to remember page 47 having some pure gold on it and I'll copy and paste uh, this in link in the chat so that you guys can read the decision uh, for yourself. But, yeah, page 47. Yeah, uh, talking about mass shootings and how they're tragic but rare. Um, <laughs> and, you know, he just completely dismantled how uh, the logic or how the logic of... Uh, and when I say logic, you know, I'm using logic not actual logic but you know where the anti-gunners have have tried to say oh the, if somebody doesn't have high cap magazines then when the guy pauses to reload somebody can rush him well you know despite the magazine ban you know the judge points out in uh uh this thing here where um mass shootings have not been st stopped by low capacity uh weapons uh, for example, two high school incidents in 2008, one assailant used a shotgun and a 38 revolver, and um, one used an AR-15 rifle, but with 10-round magazines at Stoneman Douglas. So high-cap magazines, you know, aren't necessary for mass shootings. Um, and, you know, the most, the most, the biggest, biggest diss here they did was, however, the press reports indicates that the shooter at the Thousand Oaks or the borderline bar and grill in Thousand Oaks, California, the shooter used a legally purchased pistol with extended magazines and had seven 30-round magazines that were found at the scene. You know, 18 years of a state ban on acquiring large-capacity magazines did not prevent the assailant from obtaining and using the banned devices. Wow. Judge is pretty much saying everything us as pro gunners have been saying for years, and it's just it's magic to see. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's nice to see the courts uh, be in our favor for once, and uh, 
you know, hopefully this is, uh, you know, this is a, uh, a sign of things to come because this decision uh, refers to uh, Satano versus Massachusetts and refers to Heller and, you know, judges around the country have been treating the, the Second Amendment like a second class right and ignoring the Heller decision for years. So hopefully in the, the next couple of years, we're going to see uh, this expanded on even further. So, uh, yeah. Oh, another thing, too. After the uh, uh, another choice um, thing, the New Zeal in New Zealand, they managed to or they decided to ban uh, semi autos um, after the. Uh, they decided to ban semi autos after the mosque massacre a couple weeks ago. Well. You know, in a massive, massive surprise, you know, New Zealand gangs say that they're not going to be turning in any of their weapons. Um, you know, they're not going to be complying with the new laws banning semi-auto weapons in um, in New Zealand. Who could have predicted that? Criminals not following the law? It's almost like gun bans only affect the law-abiding. Who, whoever could have predicted such a thing happening? I, I don't know. Uh, it's only like every pro-gun person in the world has has ever said that that uh, you know when guns are outlawed, only outlaws will have guns. Well, congratulations, folks. New Zealand has it on front page news of their uh, websites that the, the criminals aren't going to be following the new laws. So, yeah, that's how it is. Um, so, yeah, here we are, 520, uh, Sunday, March 31st, week 13 of the giveaways. Um, appreciate you guys tuning in, watching me uh, ramble about uh, various things. Um, so you guys are here for uh, getting some free stuff and getting the giveaways going, right? We've got 20 people viewing right now, so that's awesome. Um, and let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, just like for those of you who are uh, turning, tuning in for the first time, um, each and every week we give away a variety of prizes. Um, behind me here, you can see the bladeforums.com logo t-shirt uh, style that we'll be giving away. Uh, we're going to be giving away bladeforms.com logo sticker, bladeforms.com uh, logo Velcro patch here. Uh, we'll be giving away the um, a paid subscription to the forums. Um, you know, for somebody who entered the contest, we'll also be giving away a live stream grand prize of uh, various goodies that have come out of uh, SHOT Show stuff, including gas station hobo knives, a CRKT Navajo um, stickers, 550 cord, fire starters, and various other swags. So, hey, somebody's going to uh, win some cool stuff today. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, somebody's going to be winning the Cold Steel uh, Odie Green Trench Hawk. So, it may be somebody who's even watching today. Who knows? Uh, Dwight Doucet is here for the rants. Awesome. Uh, M Rider, let's do the watch show giveaway first thing this week. No, then you guys are just going to tune out. Of course, I'm not going to give do the watch or giveaway first thing. Need to have you guys have an incentive to watch me ramble away. You know that's how uh, that's how we do the uh, uh, the uh, live stream giveaways and stuff. Man, come on, you know, work with me here. So, uh, for those of you who haven't um, <laughs> for those of you who haven't watched before, here's how it works. Uh, Every week we do, or every week I do, a uh, the live stream here. And since this is our 20th anniversary, um, it works like works as follows. Um, in the giveaway and contest form, I post a thread. Uh, this week's, if you haven't already entered in, make sure you enter into the uh, um, week 14 uh, giveaway thread for the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Um but for this week, we're going to be giving away the Cold Steel 90 PTHG Trench Hawk in OD Green. Um, and how that works is there have, were 396 entries because three beard bareface killer here entered at uh, 2.05 a.m. after the cutoff. So um, 
we will do all right hang on just a second here let me get my act together here folks sorry about this all right so what we do what i do here is i go to random.org um and i take the number of entries which start with post number two and end with post number 396 and when i hit generate that'll generate um who went the winner and we go to that post number and that's the person that won has won whatever prize so here's the rules for the giveaway um since this is our 20th anniversary this uh collection of prizes the sticker the patch the t-shirt the uh membership the main prize and the live stream giveaway prize are limited to people who registered before our 20th anniversary on November 2nd, 2018. Um, that is, we limit it to people who register before that date in order to prevent people from registering a whole bunch of free accounts. Um, if you did, if you registered before that and um, are a non-paid subscriber, then you need to send us a letter to the bladeforums.com address at 9, 921 Baird Avenue, Louisville, Kentucky, 40204. Uh, a letter show with your username, why you'd like the knife, um, how you think it would own, what it would, what got you into knives, etc. Thus far, we have yet to get a letter from any of the basic members who say they're in. So none of you guys apparently want to win the grand prizes um if you are not a paid member or if you are if you are a paid member then the registration date uh requirement is waived and good to go you know so anybody who has a paid membership whether it's basic gold knife maker pirate platinum pg platinum whatever um dealer can enter in for the uh prize giveaway pack uh, so far, we are. This is week thirteen, which means we have done. Um, that's a good question. How many of these is it? Thirteen times six. So so far, uh, seventy-eight people. So far, have uh, won prizes, and we've still got another forty-plus weeks to go. So there's going to be a lot of prizes handed out. Um, the odds are really good that if you keep entering, you'll win something, you know, so make sure you enter. And folks, also make sure that you uh, do me a solid, and if you're not a subscriber to the Blade Forms channel, subscribe. Uh, make sure you like this video down below. Make sure that you uh, give a comment on the video after the broadcast is over. Apparently, that helps with our uh, YouTube placements or something along those lines. I don't know. You know. I don't know how this SEO stuff works. But yeah, um... So yeah, who's ready to start uh, giving? Who's ready for me to start giving stuff away? We give away a sticker first, and then we'll go on to uh, the various other things. So if you guys are ready, uh, let me see some G's in chat. Uh, G for giveaway, and we can start uh, giving stuff up. In the meantime, let's go to uh, random.org and see what we got going on. All right, so I've gone ahead and populated this with two and 396. Uh, post number two is the first post after um, my post in the thread. Uh, you can see here my post is post number my post is post number one and post number two is the first post in the thread. So going back to random.org. All right, cool. I'm seeing G's in the chat, so that's awesome. Uh, we got 24 people watching uh, concurrently, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can uh, get going here. R for rant, yeah. Thanks, Rick. I appreciate the uh, support there because nothing gets me going like rants. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get this stuff done. Let's go ahead and get a uh, sticker going. Damn it. Keep. Uh, clicking off the wrong windows here <sighs> all right so random.org let's go ahead and uh, do this hit generate and the very first uh, one is going to be 275 so 275 let's go to the blade forums uh, giveaway thread is that yep that's the giveaway thread Post number 275 is probably going to be on page 14, I want to say. Yep, page 14. 
Alright, so post number uh, 275 is a knife fan. Awesome. So, and that's how easy it is. So, knife fan wins the sticker with post 275. Awesome. If I don't write this stuff down in multiple locations, then I lose it. Um, so yeah, uh, those of you who uh, those of you who've been uh, watching for weeks, um, I know more than a few of you guys in here who've been watching have won. Um, yeah, a couple of you have at least won prizes and stuff like that. Have you all? you know, gotten uh, your prizes? Because I just had, like, uh, a notification from Misha Mina or something like that um, where he's saying he never got his Emerson sticker pack, and that sucks, man, because I only got, like, I didn't get extras on any of that stuff. So if something goes missing in the mail, you know, I, I feel really bad because, you know, we don't have spares uh, for any of that stuff. So, Misha, um, I'm going to uh, contact you after the show and see if there's something else I can get you because I don't have any more Emerson stickers and I hate that uh, you didn't get your prize. So, yeah. All right. So, um, what else is... Uh, <laughs> more ranting. God, man. There's... Uh, anybody see the uh, new trailer for John Wick? Uh, anybody excited to see... Uh, uh, all that John Wick going to town, going ham on people, with the uh, new uh, 2011 uh, semi-auto by Turan Tactical. Um, you know, getting revenge for his puppy. It's not. It wasn't just the puppy, but yeah, getting ready to uh, smoke a bunch of dudes. That'll be coming out uh, in two weeks. Uh, Shazam comes out this week. There's a whole bunch of movies. You know what struck me? This year marks, or it's like in the last week or two, it's been 20 years since The Matrix. Um, since The uh, Matrix came out. I mean, it's hard to believe that it's been 20 years, but wow. I, you know, I remember, uh, I remember seeing that in the theater and being blown away by it. And it just doesn't feel like 20 years has gone by. Um, I don't know. I guess just stuff is... Uh, stuff is changing rapidly uh throughout the world and uh it seems like we're just stuck here in uh in limbo i guess i guess with the internet and stuff like that we're not seeing as much noticeable change jason puckett haven't seen the first two yet they were on my list just don't have a lot of time to watch movies these days yeah yeah i understand uh you know yeah i mean i can't say uh I don't have time to watch movies. I always find time to watch stuff if I'm up until 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. But, uh, yeah. Um, oh, have you guys seen uh, um, Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix? That's a pretty cool series. The uh, It's a whole bunch of science fiction shorts in the vein of heavy metal. Um, you know, the original heavy metal movie from the 70s and then heavy metal uh, 2000. Um Really uh, cool stuff. It's by a lot of uh, decent uh, science fiction authors. Uh, John Scalzi, Marco Clues, um, Alistair Reynolds, and various others had their had their short stories converted into animated shorts. And uh, the acting um, in the animated shorts was done by a, a variety of uh, actors. Um, there's one... Um, story called shapeshifters that covers werewolves uh serving in the marine corps um seeing action in afghanistan it was actually really cool but what was neat about that is one of the actors is uh, the guy that plays um ferguson on a netflix series called longmire so it was amusing to see him show up in there and then uh, uh another story was lucky 13 uh which was adapted off a story by marco clues and the main actor in there uh was was an actress from uh orange is the new black the lady that plays uh Pousset in orange is the new black so yeah it was a it's an interesting thing um, T. Raj, John Wick movies are just badass. Matrix is still awesome. Just watched the series two months back. I don't know what the series is. 
watching Love, Death, and Robots on Night Shifts this week. It's a great, great, you know, there was a lot of a lot more nudity than I expected, so it's not appropriate for the kids. But, uh, you know, overall, I was really impressed with Love, uh, Death, and Robots. Um, there was only one uh, story that I really didn't uh, like on there, and that was... Um, that was the one with like the uh, uh, gang of robots robbing us, this doing a stagecoach robbery. That wasn't very cool, uh, or that wasn't you know very intriguing at all. Um, you know, didn't really do anything for me. But uh, Sunny's Edge and uh, um, Lucky Thirteen and Helping Hand was a great one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of those. Uh, Alien 40th anniversary of Alien is uh, is just happened. And uh, IGN Network is doing a bunch of uh, animated shorts for for that as well, or not animated, but short stories um, on that. And their first one is up. It's called Containment. So that's uh, pretty cool. Go to IGN.com and watch that if you haven't seen it. And that's uh, awesome. Sorry, it's a trilogy. All three movies, frantic trilogy. I'm not uh, I'm not familiar with that. I'm gonna have to write that down. Um, Frantic Trilogy. I'll try to uh, check that out when uh, when I've got some uh, free time. Um, oh, been watching Hannah. The show is much better than the movie was. Wow. You know, I like the Hannah movie. That had, like, Eric Banya in it. And uh, um, wasn't the lady from Lord of the Rings in there? Or was, I can't remember, or, or was it Sigourney Weaver in uh, Hannah? But yeah, the series uh, is looking cool. Doesn't it have? Uh, isn't one of the protagonists in that the dude from uh, Altered Carbon? I you know I haven't uh, I haven't seen that. So yeah, uh, it uh, should be cool. Um, Dark Tower fan, you know I Stephen King. You know he occasionally writes some decent stuff, but the dude's a nut job and he's a huge anti gun guy. So I don't like giving him a bunch of my money. Um, you know, the Dark Tower series started off real well, but then it just went off a cliff in the in the gun or the Dark Tower movie with Idris Elba. Yeah, it didn't do too well. So uh, hopefully, when Amazon does the Dark Tower series, it'll uh, it'll be better. So anyhow, 5:35 p.m. We've managed to stretch things out uh, to there. So let's. Uh, Let's get away from this uh, rambling and get back to doing giveaways. Who wants to uh, see people win a Bladeforms.com Velcro patch? If you want to see that, go ahead and give me some G's in the chat. If we just want to talk about uh, random stuff, uh, then uh, we can keep doing that too. But I don't think everybody's going to uh, stay tuned in for uh, me giving my opinions on science fiction movies. Um, Matrix Reloaded and Revolution. Yeah, um, Matrix Trilogy was uh, good, Yeah. Um. All righty. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do and get back to uh, get back to giving some stuff away. So we've already given away the sticker. Um, Knife fan uh, won that with uh, post number two seventy five, and now we are ready to give away the bladeforms.com Velcro patch. Um, when I hit generate, of course, that will generate the post number, and we will go to the thread. So, post number 349 wins the Velcro patch. So let's get over to that. 349 is probably going to be on page 17 or 18. Not really sure. Yep, page 18. So let's get down here. 345, 346, 347, 348, 349. Roach Belly 44. Roach Belly 44. So, congrats to Roach Belly 44. Uh, of course, it's not letting me copy that. So, uh, Roach Belly. It's a Velcro patch with post 349. And it's just that easy. You know, you, you say I'm in on the uh, thread, as you can see, uh, you post in the thread, and we do the random drawing, and it goes away, or somebody uh, wins. So yeah, doesn't cost, uh, 
doesn't cost much. Just your time and uh, helping support the forums. Six Hog Saline T. Rogers saying he watched the Matrix trilogy two months ago. It's a fantastic trilogy. Uh, L. O. Oh, okay. See, yeah. All right. See, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I'm brain dead, and apparently I did not uh, smoke enough crystal meth or something like that this morning to uh, be on track. So, yeah, the Matrix uh, trilogy was pretty good. Um, the, I like the first Matrix. The second Matrix kind of sucked. Uh, third Matrix tried and didn't do as well um, for me. I didn't think that the... I think that the Matrix probably would have been better off if they just left it alone after the first uh, movie. But, you know, you never know. I said the same thing about John Wick, too. Um, you know, John Wick 1 was incredible. John Wick 2 was kind of weak in comparison. So hopefully John Wick 3 uh, knocks it out of the park. Uh, definitely, yeah. Guys, if you haven't signed up for uh, next week's uh, giveaway, you know, and you're in the chat, make sure you sign up for next week's giveaway. Come on, dudes. You know, you need to uh, get in there and uh, and do your thing. Um, you know, if you haven't uh, won anything in the past, then make sure that you uh, get in there and uh, register. Make sure that you like and comment down below. Make sure that you do all that stuff. Because, you know, if you don't enter, then you're not going to win the prize. It's that simple. Nobody's going to uh, hold your hand or twist your arm or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't get my meth heroin fixed before going live. Yeah, you know, if there's one thing about me, man, it's, you know, I got that heroin habit. It keeps me thin. And the meth, you know, got too many extra teeth, so I started the meth uh, to lose them extra teeth there. It's it's just I don't know, man. I've got I've got crippling addiction. It's just my addiction is cupcakes and cornbread. I love me the uh, starches and the uh, pastas and stuff. Anything carbohydrates, man. I just give me the carbohydrates straight into my veins. It goes straight to my love handles. Of course, at this point, it's less. Uh, you know, some people try to have six packs. I'm sitting here working on a pony keg. That's how it is, folks. All right, so we've given away the uh, uh, sticker. We've given away the uh, uh, patch. So next up is going to be the logo T-shirt that you can see um, partially in screen behind me. Um, the logo T-shirt, of course, is uh, made in the USA product. Um, cotton, you know, I don't know if it's pre-shrunk or not, but yeah, it has the bladeforms.com logo on the back and on the uh, left chest. So you'll look very handsome and stylish. You'll have people asking you, "Oh my God, you're you're a member of Blade Forms?" Oh, you know, you'll frighten the you'll frighten the people that. Uh, yeah, please, you know, don't get arrested wearing the Blade Form shirt. We don't need that publicity. Um, you know, but yeah, if you uh, stop a terrorist attack while uh, wearing the Blade Forms T-shirt, that'll be awesome too. You know, that'd be that'd be great. Uh, Molokai Rider, did I get a new puppy? Yeah, man, you didn't. Uh, you didn't see the uh, puppy pics that. Uh... Yeah, this is uh, this is Rex Waffles, um, the lab Labrador uh, Retriever. Yeah, it's sitting there chewing on his rawhide. We got uh, the new puppy, um, handsome little bastard, and he's got little blonde eyelashes, so he's uh, super cute, and. Uh, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but he sleeps a lot. Dude is all about the sleepings. He just likes to sleep constantly. So yeah, he's a uh, he's a good dog when he's uh, when he's awake. So yeah, lots and lots of puppy pictures. You know, and the puppy. You know, fortunately, you know, we almost died uh, getting putting the deposit on the puppy because we had a freak snowstorm a couple weeks back and then last week they uh, notified us that you know we could pick up the puppy whenever and i didn't think we were going to get the puppy until this week but we made a uh, trip out in, to the boondocks of uh, kentucky we drove past frankfurt to almost to lexington to go get him uh, last week after the broadcast so yeah we've had him for a week um already he's much smarter <laughs> you know than our dog that we have that's two years old um, you know, she, she sits there, you know, you tell her, Daisy, you know, put that down. She sits there, you know, just blank stare. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll put it down. Or no, I'm not going to poop there. Or, 
you know, here, let me get that ball for you. So, I mean, dog, every dog individually has their, uh, um, every dog individually is different, you know, and he's clearly on the higher end of the spectrum of intelligence and she's, well, she's good looking. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the advantage for her. So who's ready for a t-shirt giveaway? Um, I know I am. 5.42 p.m. We are uh, not even halfway through the stuff we need to give away. So let's uh, let's get back over to random.org and uh, hit this stuff. Again, uh, post number two is the first post. Post number 396 is the last post. And when I hit the generate button, that will generate uh, who wins the uh, bladeforms.com logo t-shirt. So, post number 99. Post number 99 wins, so that should be on page 5 here. RPN. RPN wins with post number 99. See how easy this is, folks? All you do is you just post that you're uh, in, and you have a chance to win. So, congrats to... Uh, Congrats to RPN. All right, so next thing up um, will be the bladeforums.com uh, membership extension slash uh, um, if it's a basic member, they get a gold membership. Um, I like to do that because, you know, it's just a way of, uh, of helping people out, you know, yeah, for for just posting the thread, you might get an additional uh, year of your paid membership uh, going on. If you have a paid basic membership, you know I'll upgrade you to gold. If you've got an existing gold membership, then I give you an extra year. Same thing with platinum, uh, knife maker, whatever. So yeah, um, you know, hey, free year membership. That's great. You know, it's uh, it's actually crazy so far. You know, I think I've. Uh, you know, I'm really, I'm really, really thankful for uh, the manufacturers donating all this stuff, but I, the, I did not realize just how much postage I would be uh, paying out. You know, I shipped a whole bunch of uh, of last week's and the week before's giveaway stuff on like Thursday and Friday, and it was it totaled up to like two hundred dollars in postage uh, for everything. So I was like, oh wow, man, you know, it's a good thing that uh, you know that this is going to paid members because otherwise this would be a huge deficit um in our operating expenses so yeah it's cool uh nico hey what's up nico good to see you uh malachi rider big bath goth good to see you checking in uh i told iron kid uh, earlier you know my condolences to uh, your family for your loss um you know, hopefully you, uh, n hopefully you all uh, know that you have our support through this time, and uh, it's just an awful thing uh, to have this uh, happen to a loved one. So, you know, uh, our condolences, thought, you know, thoughts and prayers. Uh, I know it doesn't really count for much, but you guys, you know, we appreciate you guys being a part of the community, and you know, we are sending warm wishes your way, and you have our support as you go through. Uh, your loss of a family member so yeah um so yeah 5 46 p.m uh let's get back uh let's get back to random.org here and we'll do the uh bladeforms.com uh membership giveaway here All right, so um, should we go ahead and give away the membership, um, or should we uh, ramble on and talk about some more stuff here? You tell me, folks. I'd, I'd love to hear um, uh, things from y'all and uh, hear uh, what's going on um, in your all's world. <clears throat> Yeah, nothing too interesting uh, going on. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do the giveaway for uh, the membership here. So hitting that, post number 289. So let's get back to the giveaway thread. Post 289 is probably on page uh, 14, I want to say. Nope, page 15. All right, so Pumpkin 40.
Pumpkin 40 wins the uh, membership uh, thing. So, a uh, question has been asked, um, do I ride motorcycles? And the answer is yes. Yes, indeed, I do ride motorcycles. Um, give me a second here, and I will actually pull up a picture of my motorcycle that I have. Um, I've got a uh, Harley-Davidson um, Police Edition Electroglide that I got uh, a couple years ago. And I am, uh, you know, I'm too old and fat to do crotch rockets. Here's a picture of my motorcycle. I'm too old and fat to do crotch rockets, but I love speed. So this is a uh, Harley Davidson um, Police Edition Electric Glide with a 103 engine. Um, the nice thing about this is the comfortable seat because I am old and fat. I like uh, being able to sit upright and sit comfortable when I'm riding for five or six hours. And this has got extra power because of the police engine and the computer chip. Uh, a lot more get up and go. Um, I've hit this up to about 110, 115 miles an hour on the freeway before. And it just runs. I love, um, yeah, I love the motorcycle. But right now, because of uh, winter and everything, it's been up on the uh, jack all winter. And uh, like, an, like an idiot, for those of you all who are familiar with jacks, I left, um, you know, I, you, you jack up the motorcycle and then you put the safeties down to prevent the uh, uh, jack from failing uh, in the winter. But I left the jack open um, and all the hydraulic fluid shot out of it during the, during winter. So I've got to fill up the jack in order for me to be able to get the motorcycle off. So yeah, I need to go hit pep boys and, uh, do that, uh, as soon as the weather gets better. Yeah. You know, uh, the Harley is, uh, the Harley is a nice bike. I like it. You know, I, I have them remove all the branding off. There's no Harley Davidson yeah, you know, there's no giant Harley Davidson logos uh, on there anywhere. Yeah, you know, there's no obnoxious stickers or paint or anything like that. It's just very slick, very sleek, very, uh, very fast. Uh, because it's the police edition, it's an extra inch off the ground as opposed to the uh, street glide. Um, and it's. Uh, And it's, uh, you know, it turns on a dime, and it goes very quick. So, yeah, it's good. Um, so let's get back to thing here. Uh, let's see. Where are you getting the number posts? I'm guessing it's not just the people in here anymore. Okay, uh, Jacob, what happens is, is that, yeah, we do the uh, drawings based off of the giveaway thread, which is right you know here in the giveaway forum so if you go to the uh, forums themselves the giveaway and contest raffle forum if you enter in on the thread you know then uh that's where we get the uh, uh post numbers from so when we you know when i go to random.org you know i take post number two which is the first uh entry in the thread and then i go to the last post post number 396 and when i hit generate on random.org it picks a number between those guys so that's where we get the uh um that's where we get the uh uh the winners or that's where we get the uh, prize winners from so yeah um yeah so yeah that's it okay uh how okay i accidentally clicked off the screen here folks sorry about that give me a second here I don't have enough screens. All right, so you're back to my ugly face. So who is ready for the Cold Steel Trench Hawk uh, giveaway in OD Green? Um, if you're ready for the opportunity to win this, let me see uh, G's in chat. After we're done uh, giving this way, we'll do the live stream uh, giveaway pack which will this week contain all kinds of good stuff and uh we'll get we'll get to it we're at 5 52 p.m so let's see some g's in chat if you guys are ready for uh uh the grand prize giveaway and uh we'll get this going
In the meantime, does anybody uh, collect um, anybody collect uh, ch challenge coins or anything like that? Does anybody read science fiction? Anybody do Kickstarter? Because um, yeah, my wife hates Kickstarter. I love Kickstarter, but I've been ripped off like three or four times on there. But I've gotten a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Um, like the very first Kickstarter I backed was like for this uh, weird um, grappling hook thing that could pick up a quarter or a dime off the ground. And, you know, since then I've gotten, uh, I, you know, I've had hit or miss luck on it. I've gotten a bunch of pens off of Kickstarter, like this uh, titanium pen here and this titanium pen here that I carry. I've got, right now I'm currently backing like a USB hub and, uh, oh, this is one of my favorite things, a little... Uh, kilogram sphere of titanium and then i've got another uh, kilogram sphere of copper uh behind me um but you know i've been ripped off a couple times on kickstarter too like uh you know i was supposed to get some uh, uh iphone lightning cables from a company called juicies and they ran off with everybody's money you know they raised like 300 grand in uh money off kickstarter and they ran off with uh everybody's cash and the people that and the, some people actually did get the 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 uh, cords and they broke in like a week so yeah there's that um you know i'm still waiting on a gopro camera stabilizer that i've been uh, that i've had backed for three years now called the Zabrilio. that hasn't shown up I'm waiting on a automatic plant waterer uh that i was going to get for my wife um that you know hasn't come through after years so yeah kickstarter's been hit or miss but um you know for those of y'all that uh, read science fiction uh there's a author named larry korea who has a series uh called monster hunter international and they were doing a kickstarter for a role-playing game for that and the awards were um a monster hunter international or Ma monster hunter international coin and a patch and these just uh arrived um last week for me so i'm very happy that those uh came through and uh you know i gotten a, a previous uh coin from monster hunter international uh for a provisional puff exemption so yeah if you guys like reading science fiction or um if you guys enjoy uh fantasy or urban fantasy books definitely and let me uh put his name Larry Korea Monster Hunter International. Definitely read his books. Um, he's a gun dude. He writes. It's basically gun, uh, gun, gun porn for gun folks killing monsters, and it's great. So definitely uh, read his stuff. Uh, have I heard anything about Indiegogo? Uh, don't, did something happen to Indiegogo? Donald, uh, yeah, definitely, totally. Give me, uh, uh, give me a heads up, um, Jason Puckett. I do Kickstarter and knife. I backed on there, just got funded. Yeah, there's been a ton of cool knives on uh, Kickstarter. Guys doing knives in like S, S30, M390, all kinds of different stuff. Um, yeah, there's been a cool, a bunch of cool knife projects on there that have uh, done uh, really well. Jason Puckett, agree, it's great. Have you read his other series in the 40s? Yes, Hard Magic, that is awesome. With, uh, you know, the, the prophet John Moses Browning uh, making a, uh, uh, being a major character in there, Hard Magic, it's definitely, Hard Magic should uh, be turned into a freaking HBO series. Then again, uh, Wild Cards, um, is being turned into a uh, like an HBO or an Amazon series. So yeah, who knows? Maybe Hard Magic was gonna be uh, do it. So yeah, um, definitely, definitely read Hard Magic too. Uh, Don Carell was gonna try it. That's all. Indiegogo, Indiegogo is different from Kickstarter because Indiegogo gives you the money immediately, as opposed to having to hit a threshold level with Kickstarter before you get funded um, at all. Uh, Indiegogo, you know, you get you get given the money immediately. So yeah, totally get. Uh, it, you know, if you're looking to get something done, um, you know, there's six and one half dozen of another. I don't know what uh, Indiegogo's policies are. Um, David, where are you tr or Donald, where are you trying to uh, get funded on Indiegogo? Uh, are you going to build a knife? Or are you going to build something uh, knife related? Totally, you know, let me know. Um, 
and we'll uh, you know we'll see if we can uh, do something for you on it. Oh, that reminds me too. I got uh, you know I had somebody on Kickstarter. I don't know where it went to, but uh, yeah, somebody uh, on Kickstarter contacted me on the BladeForms.com Facebook page, um, wanting me to take a look at um, this. So they sent me they sent me this because they want me to review it because they've got a Kickstarter going on for this pen. This pen is apparently or is based on firearms. You know, it's got a little muzzle break here. Um, you know, you've got a bullet-shaped uh, pocket clip, and it's basically a tactical pen, tactical tool, etc. And this giant muzzle thing is just so big. Yeah, the the knife is big, or the the pen, this pen is huge, and it weighs a ton. I mean, it you know it. Uh, I, I I like click pens, you know. Basically, here's the thing. This is a click pen that I got off Kickstarter that's titanium. This is the pen from Russia that, you know, even without the muzzle brake on it, it's larger than the titanium pen I got off Kickstarter. When you add the muzzle brake device uh, to this, you know, the size comparison is ginormous. I mean, this is just too big to put into a pocket. Um, you know... So it makes it, you know, it's it's great if you're going to carry it in a briefcase, if you're going to carry it, you know, attached to your moleskine, if you're going to use it for, um, you know, whatever you're going to do. But unfortunately, I think this is just too big for daily carry in your pocket. It just, it, it'll fall right out of the pocket. Even the, uh, you know, even the larger Kickstarter pen that I have, you know, it's smaller than the size difference between these two. Even the larger Kickstarter pen I have is smaller than this thing. And this this falls out of my pocket constantly because it's so long. So, you know, hopefully um, before they actually release this, they shorten down the muzzle brake portion of it uh, considerably. And all things being equal, I would, I would prefer a uh, click uh, style pen mechanism. Um, but that's just me. The whole point of this is to be a tactical impact device, um, you know, slash... Uh, non-permissive environment uh, tool. So yeah, this is, uh, this is something that somebody sent me uh, because apparently I am, you know, somebody, people want my opinion on things. So yeah, so I'll be trying to do a review on, on this. No, I am not giving away the uh, Russian pen. The Russian pen is probably going to have to go back to the Russians uh, when I'm done with it. So I've got to do up a uh, review on it uh, shortly. So yeah, uh, 6 p.m. already. Wow. How on earth did an hour already go past? Uh, it's just nutty. Well, I guess it's time for us to uh, do the grand prize giveaway here of the Cold Steel 90 PTHG uh, Trench Hawk in OD Green. So we're going to give this away now. So let's get on over to random.org. As you can see here, uh, post number two is the first post. Post number 396 is the next post. And um, as I stated earlier, for those of you who are just tuning in and this is your first time, how this works is that in order to be eligible for the grand prize giveaway, you must have registered before November 2nd, 2018, which is our 20th anniversary thing. Uh, as long as you register before that date, um, you can enter in as long as, uh, if you're a basic member or rather a registered user on the forums. Um, unfortunately, nobody has sent a letter uh, in order to qualify themselves for uh, the giveaway drawing for the uh, uh, that as a non-paid member. So, you know, this drawing is open to everybody with a paid membership. Uh, it doesn't matter if you registered yesterday, as long as you got, as long as you posted, I'm in, in the uh, giveaway thread here, then uh, you are eligible to uh, win uh, this if you've got a paid subscription. So when we go back to random.org, we will uh, do uh, the drawing here of uh, two, post number two to post number 396. So yeah, let's do this. Post number 337. 
So post number 337, let's get over to this. That'll be page 17. Yep, looks like page 17. 331, 332, 335, 336. 337, Shane Johnson, who joined on Friday. Folks, very simple rules. To register to be a member or to be eligible, you have to have joined before November 2nd, 2018. Joined Friday. Joined Friday. Not eligible. Not eligible to win. If you had a paid subscription, if you had sent a letter, you would have been, you know, even if you had sent a letter, you wouldn't be eligible because you didn't register for new November 2nd, 2018. So if you had a paid subscription, you would have been good to go. You would have won, dude. You know, guy with two posts on the forums could have won. But because you don't have a paid subscription and because you didn't send the letter in, you, you lost, dude. I'm sorry. So now we've got to, uh, now we've got to uh, go back and do random.org again. So sorry about your luck, dude. Post number 99. Well, 99 already won something. That was RPN. Uh, he won the uh, logo t-shirt. So what is going on here? Why did it do 99 twice on that? So let's do this again. Post number 324. All right. So let's get back over to random.org. Or let's get over here. Page 15, I think. 324. All right, post number 324 is AF, AF, congrats to AF, prize winner. Oh, man, so, yep, um, AF, you win the uh, grand prize of the bladeforms.com or of the OD Green uh, Cold Steel Trench Hawk. So congrats to you, dude. Um, appreciate uh, the support there. And uh, that's really uh, awesome. So hopefully uh, uh, he enjoys that. And we will uh, get that out the door to him uh, shortly. So, yeah, this has been a, a fun week. Um, yeah, dude. Why? Why, can't, why couldn't you read, dude? Why couldn't you... Why couldn't uh, Dude Man read? Why couldn't he get... Why couldn't Shane Johnson here? Shane. Seriously. My dude. Bruh. My guy. Why? Uh, it's just not... Uh, shameful, folks. But yeah, congratulations to AF for winning that. So, here we are. 6.06 .06 past the hour. It is time for... The moment you all have been waiting for. The gas station hobo knife viewer prize pack. Look at that. Only the finest in Chinesium steel. This isn't even, you know, it doesn't even list what steel this is. This is stainless rust fry, you know, crazy... Triple Peak Serrations, only the finest Chinesium gas station knives on the planet get given to those of you who were brave enough to watch this live stream. We've got the CRKT Navajo 6001, made in Italy. Old school. This thing has got to be like circa 2000 era. We've got the K-Bar stickers. We've got Pink 550 cord. We've got a Right in the Rain sticker. A uh, random thing from SHOT Show. Knight's Armament uh, neck lanyard. So, you know, if you guys are into wearing your keys around your neck or, you know, don't self-harm, please. I may joke about that, but please don't hurt yourself with the neck lanyard. Don't end up like David Carradine or uh, Michael Hutchins from NXS or anything like that. No, don't do it. It's not good. 
And uh, just for giggles, you know, we're also going to give away the uh, tradition, the standard SEAH1 Arrowhead. I've got a uh, <clears throat> bladeforms.com branded uh, saw from Tops that uh, will be given away, and a uh, fire starter kit. So yeah, all told, you know, whoever wins the uh, grand prize or whoever wins the uh, prize today from the uh, live stream giveaway is getting about a hundred bucks and uh, cool stuff. So yeah, you know, let's go ahead and uh, get some music started here. And uh, I'm going to need your all's usernames in chat. So go ahead and give me your blade forms usernames in chat um if you've won before please don't enter again in the uh um in the live stream giveaway let's you know let's, let's save it for people who haven't done anything and uh you know let's see what we can do and uh we'll get it going in the meantime i'm gonna uh pump over to random name picker so uh i'm gonna start doing that and you guys basically have until the end you guys have until the end of the music to uh, get your names in chat. All right, guys, you've got uh, only a few seconds left to get your names into uh, or to get your uh, usernames into the chat window. Uh, as soon as the music ends, then uh, then the uh, entries close and we are going to stop doing uh, uh, entries. But yeah. Yeah, dancing up. Woo! Let me get the uh, glow sticks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, actually, oh, I've always got... Uh, Always got something going on here. 
Let me get the rave lights going. Oh, you guys really can't hear the the music at all? Wow, amazing. So, yeah. All right, guys, so the music's done. It uh, doesn't look like uh, anyone else has got their uh, username in here. Uh, Eveled? Eveled? All right, so I guess that's the uh, last of it. So, folks, uh, we are down to the last thing here. Uh, only thing left is the uh, live stream giveaway uh, prize pack. So uh, you guys can hear me, right? You guys can see me. You guys can hear what I'm saying here. Uh, let me see some Gs in chat if you guys are ready for the live stream giveaway. Uh, if you're not ready for the live stream giveaway, I guess we can just chat for a couple hours more. Um, you know, otherwise, uh, then we can see uh, what's going on. You can watch me uh, drink my tasty beverage here. I'll be sipping on the perp uh, while... Um, we're waiting for the giveaway. Also, don't forget, if you haven't uh, entered in for next week's drawing for the uh, Spyderco um, A1GPBK2 for the Paramilitary 2 with the Bladeforms.com uh, logo laser engraved on the blade, make sure that you uh, uh, make sure that you enter in to uh, win. Because as you can see, it's uh, going to somebody here. Might as well be one of you guys that's uh, chatting. So yeah. All right, so I'm seeing a whole bunch of uh, G's in chat, so that must mean that uh, you guys are ready for the giveaway. So, awesome. Excellent. So, what I'm going to do here <clears throat> is go over to the random name picker uh, thing that we do every single week. When I asked for you guys to enter in your usernames into the chat window, I copied and pasted all of them in here. Um yeah, one of you guys, you know, when I hit rerun, uh, it's going to pick a name and display it up here and dudes do me a solid if you guys don't live in the u.s don't put me on the hook for shipping this package for postage i had to uh you know i somebody won uh going to a non-us country and the postage was like 50 dollars for the live stream stuff and you know i i, I don't mind paying for postage shipping within conus because usually it's like seven or ten bucks but if it's gonna be like 50 or 60 bucks can you help a brother out here and help, <laughs> help me with uh, uh, that. So, yeah. Uh, Malachi Rider 101. I can just send that to you. Uh, what's that, man? Send you the little uh, rave light uh, LED thing. I can send you the... Or uh, do you want the uh, SE Arrowhead? Or do you want the whole box worth of stuff? Up to you guys. So, hey, Hal. 6.15. We're all together uh, done with the uh, thing. Uh, we're ready to go ahead and hit rerun. And congratulations. VW or V or W Vitalkis wins. Is the live stream winner. Congrats, dude. You won the... Uh, Congrats, Vitalkis. You won the live stream giveaway. So, yeah, I will shoot you a message after this. And uh, just need your address, bro, so I can send all this uh, good stuff out. And you will get a box full of uh, goodies, including the uh, or the CRKT Navajo. <clears throat> K-Bar sticker. Right in the Rain sticker. Knight's Armament uh, neck lanyard. Pink and black 550 cord. SE Arrowhead, Tops Fire Starter Kit, Gas Station Hobo Knife, and the Blade Forms uh, saw useful for sawing your way out of uh, various things. So, folks, again, thank you all for watching again this week. Thank you all for being a part of the forums. Uh, this is, again, our 20th anniversary year of giveaways. We are on. Oops. Uh, Vitalkis, sorry about that. Uh, I just uh, dropped your Right in the Rain sticker into my purple drink. So you are uh, going to be getting a little extra bonus there um, when you get your drink. So yeah, folks, it's been 20 years of uh, hooking you guys up with knife-related knowledge and uh, you guys being a part of the best uh, community on the planet. The only reason it's a good community is because of y'all. So I want to say thank you yet again for tuning in to week 13 of the live giveaway broadcast. And thank you for being uh, part of the membership for 20 plus years. 
And uh, even if you registered last week, uh, I still appreciate you and you guys are uh, what makes the community what it is. So folks, thanks again for tuning in and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble and rant 617 on a Sunday. And we're going to wrap it up now. Everybody's had their stuff given away and I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks again, folks. You all have a great day. Okay.